Welcome to JSTU. Today we are going to see about hydrological analysis in ArcGIS. So as you know, ArcGIS is a very powerful tool that can uh, model and analyze uh, hydrological impacts. So uh, in this video, I will show you one of the factors uh, of hydrological modeling and soil uh, erosion effect, which can be estimated through uh, hydrology uh, or water flow index. So this is a sediment transport index. This sediment transport index basically accounts uh, for the effect of topography on erosion. So as the topography varies, there is also a variation in the rate and extent of soil erosion. So uh, this is a two-dimensional catchment area uh, used instead of one-dimensional slope factors in the uh, universal soil loss equation. So this universal soil loss equation or erosion model basically estimates sheet and real erosion, but uh, it overlooks uh, the uh, sediment that is transported in the area of very deep gully erosion. So this sediment transport index is very useful for determining the amount of sediments. So uh, we will see how to calculate using ArcGIS. So the required data is the DM or the digital elevation model. Uh, and the second one is a shape file of the study area. Uh, after acquiring DM or digital elevation model, uh, then a series of steps will be followed. Um, then compute flow direction, uh, calculate flow accumulation, calculate uh, slope degree, and by uh, applying this uh, formula or this uh, highlighted formula we can estimate the sediment transport index so the first step is uh, let's open arc map so this is arc map 10.8 so let me add let me add dm here is the dm data the dm data of uh, uh, watershed so after acquiring the dm data uh, let's go to uh, Arc Toolbox for uh, computing uh, pre-processing steps. So uh, just go to uh, this icon and click on Arc Toolbox. Then after uh, Arc uh, after displaying Arc Toolbox, go to Spatial Analysis Tools. Then there is hydrology, hydrology, then uh, fill, click on fill. This fill DM is very important if there is a missed values or inconsistencies in the uh, pixels or in the rasters, then we will adjust by using this fill tool. Then the input uh, surface raster must be the DM. Click on DM, and the output surface raster means the place or the folder that you want to save your output raster. So I simply accept the default value and click OK. OK, fill is successfully computed, then let us go to the second step that is flow direction. As you can see here, uh, input surface raster means the, uh, the field DA. Then the output flow direction raster means the place where you uh, save your uh, output. But in my, case, in my case, as I did in the first step, I will accept the default value, then hit OK. Flow direction is processing, let's wait. Okay, flow direction in once again is successfully computed. Then let's go to the third step, which is flow accumulation. The as you can see here, the input flow direction raster. That means the input raster must be the flow direction. The output accumulation raster means the place or the folder where you want to save your output data. As I did in the previous steps, I will accept the default, then hit OK.
Flow accumulation is processing. Let us wait. Okay, flow accumulation is once again successfully computed. Then this is a, a flow accumulation as you can see here there is streams. Zero out to this value the flow accumulation where the streams are regenerated. So uh, let us make some amendments on the on the streams, for example, let us uh, classify into two, into two, and classify, okay, let us make this threshold decrease to 5,000, uh, okay, let us, okay, let us apply, as you can see, uh, the, yeah, here is a flow accumulation and the tributaries or the raster is uh, already uh, generated so the three step is, is successfully computed what is left here in the step is here is that uh, the third step is uh, calculate slope in degree calculate slope in degree so let us quit this step and go to uh, surface then after uh, just go to clicking surface, there is uh, a series of uh, a of tools that can uh, used to used to compute surface parameters or surface terrain analysis. From this surface terrain analysis, we want to uh, compute a slope. Then double click on slope. So the input raster must be the original DM data. Then the output raster means the place where you want to save. Uh, the output measurement, this is, uh, uh, it is optional. Uh, uh, you can uh, compute your slope in terms of degree or in terms of percent. But let me accept the degrees and hit OK. So slope is uh, on the verge of generating, let's wait. Perfect. The slope is successfully generated. As you can see here, the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 71. That means zero degree out to 71 degree. My study area comprises or ranges from zero out to 71 degree. Then what is left here is that by using this formula, by using this formula, sediment transport index is equal to the power of flow accumulation divided by 22.13 uh, by 0 0.6. This is a constant value times the power of sine of slope divided by this constant number. So let me uh, uh, go to again back to uh, a special uh, arc toolbox, then a special analyst tools once again, then map algebra. Then raster calculator, double click raster calculator. Then uh, sediment transfer index is equal to the power of when you go uh, to the right side, uh, you can get power uh, uh, in the math function, the power of the power of flow accumulation, flow accumulation, the power of flow accumulation divided by divided by. 22.13 22.13 of 0.6 close bracket times times the power of once again the power of the you can get sine uh, in the in the trigonometric function when you go to trigonometric function cosine uh, tan uh, etc. So the sign of let's find sign sign of a slope a slope here is slope slope divided by zero point eight eight nine six one one three then closed bracket. The output raster means the place where you want to save your output. So this is output raster. 
let me make to sediment sediment transport index sediment transport index then let me click ok sediment transport index is processing let's wait This is the value where sediment transport index takes place. So this uh, let me uh, let us make some amendments on this value. This value let us make some amendments. Apply. Okay. Okay. Can make some amendments here. Format labels. Let us uh, decrease the number of digits after decimal places. Let us make to two. Okay. Apply. Yeah. So here it is. Uh, let us make final maps for uh, sediment transport index. So let us uh, insert basic marginal information of maps or basic map elements let us may insert legends statement transport let us fix it let's fix it yeah here it is statement transport index and let us insert the scale bar this is our scale bar let us fix to this. Let us fix it to this. Yeah. As you can see here, the measurement is miles. Let us uh, make a right click and change the units into kilometers. As you can see, division units, miles. Let me adjust to kilometers. Kilometers. Okay. Then let me make this km this is the labels how to display this kilometer so let us make this okay let us make this amendments let us make this amendments let me select this one okay this is the cartographic work where you can uh, make some assistic value on your uh, maps so what is left here is that a scale bar legend uh, okay so let me uh, let me uh, click right click on this and go to property then grids new grid the next next finish apply okay okay so let me remove this uh lines it is not recommended drawing a line so lines go to lines and do not show lines or tickets okay apply yeah as you can see lines are disappeared so let me uh, make this vertical uh, labels left and right into vertical let me make this times new roman and let me uh, increase the number of ones and uh, make it to bold okay apply okay apply okay okay this is very interesting map and let me uh, add uh, knit line insert knit line please around elements yeah this is the knit line or the, the that is the border of the uh, grids let me insert title okay so sediment sediment transport index map sediment transport or 
let me write this sediment transport index map okay map of map of the study area the study area okay yeah you can right click here and change symbology times new roman then change into 14 blue black apply okay yeah sediment transport index sti map of the study area then you can export this in terms of pdf or in terms of uh, jpg okay let me show you go to files then export map export map then select the place where you want to save let me save desktop for example save as type you can uh, select pdf you can select jpg for example let me select pdf SET air sediment transport index map save okay exporting is processing let's wait okay let me close all this all this uh, and let me for STI map of the study area yeah as you can see here sediment transport index map of the study area yeah yeah as you can see it is very neat and very clear map uh, produced you can also export as jpg or image then put in uh, what you want in file in your folder therefore uh, this is what we have today you can uh, calculate this sediment transport index uh, using arcmap arcgis uh, in a very uh, useful and easy way if you are new to this youtube channel you can comment share and subscribe thank you for watching